so as temperature increases so as temperature increases these electrons may gain sufficient energy and break the bonds or it comes out of the bond now these electrons are free to move anywhere in the crystal okay let's say this electron here came out of the bond and it is free so this electron came out and it is free to move anywhere in the crystal so the same phenomenon can be considered as an electron from valence band going to let's say here we had an electron initially in this energy level and it is moved to conduction band so we can consider this breaking of bond as an electron movement from valence band to conduction band so let's say this electron came to the conduction band now we have a vacancy in the valence band so here we have a vacancy and now we have an electron in the conduction band here also we have a vacancy of electron now we have an electron in conduction band and an empty state in valence band now conduction is possible because now we have an electron in the conduction band and an empty state in valence band so conduction is possible once this electron moved out of the bond this silicon atom will gain a positive charge but this silicon atom cannot contribute to conduction that is because this silicon atom is held in the crystal and is not free to move so the silicon atom is immobile this electron that came out of the bond can move anywhere throughout the crystal so this electron here which is in conduction band can move throughout the crystal and can contribute to conduction but it is a little bit complicated in the case of valence band here we have a vacancy of electron right so the energy difference between this electrons in the valence bands are really small so this electron here here can move to occupy this vacant state okay this electron may move to this vacant state there by creating an empty state here so let's consider that let's say this electron move to this position now here now here we have a vacant state okay now the silicon atoms positive charge is gone and this silicon atom will gain the positive charge now this electron may move to this location okay this can randomly happen throughout the crystal okay so let's say this electron move to this location now we have a hole in this location so this movement of electron in this direction towards the right that means electron movement in this direction in the bonds can be considered as the movement of a hole that is the movement of a hole in the opposite direction so that's how the concept of hole comes so it is easier to consider this movement as the movement of positive charges in this direction instead of actual electron motion in the valence band so we will introduce the concept of hole so we can call this vacancy of electron okay we can call this vacancy or empty state as a hole and the charge of a hole is plus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 because here we can see how the charge is moved along this direction when electron was moving in the opposite direction in the bonds so we can say that as temperature increased we generated an electron hole pair so we have generated an electron hole pair because when an electron moved out of a hole it created an electron which is ready to conduct and a hole so one thing to note here is that hole movement is nothing but the electron movement in the opposite direction so hole movement is actually electron movement in valence band or in the bonds in opposite direction now let's see what happens when temperature increases so when temperature increases let's say this car here gains sufficient energy and it jumps the barrier and goes to conduction band so let's say this car moved to the conduction band now this car here is free to move anywhere along this road or this charge carrier is free to move in the conduction band now we have an empty state in valence band okay so this valence this empty state can be occupied by this car so let's consider that now if you look at the valence band what happened here is that actually even if this car moved up front what happened is that this empty space moved in the opposite direction right 
So let's consider one more case. So let's consider that this car here moved up front. Now we can see the vacant space moved to this location. Move this car up front. We can see that the vacant space now moved. Now if you look at it, we can see that the vacant space which was initially here, initially at this location, now moved to this position. So this is analogous to the concept of hole. Now we have an empty space, empty state and this empty state what we call as our hole.